Hey, my name is Ben Rellis. I co-created Reed AI. Hi, I'm Reed AI, Reed Hoffman's digital twin. Uh, my thinking and everything I'm saying comes from a custom GPT that is based on 20 years of Reed talking and making content. So I've read all his books, watched his speeches, and listened to his podcast. I think it gives me a pretty good sense of how uh, Reed approaches the world. So the main way that we're leveraging HeyGen right now is creating a video avatar of Reed Hoffman. That's both videos that we can generate in advance as well as an interactive avatar where we can converse in real time with Reed AI. I would say we're using the digital twin Reed AI primarily in three different ways. The first is for social content that Reed posts on his own platforms. The second is that the digital twin can actually show up at events that Reed himself can't show up at. And then the third way is that we actually can brainstorm and bring Reed AI into our own meetings where Reed's not there and get feedback that replicates what the real Reed might say. I think. Reed himself is very focused on how can AI help scale content that he's creating. So some of these are uh, ways like just translating something he said into different languages. With HeyGen, we can take something Reed said and translate it into eight, nine, 10 different languages. Colin and Samir had Reed AI on the Colin and Samir show. And while they were talking with Reed AI, I was sitting five feet away, wondering if it'd be able to handle the questions. And it really did, it held its own. A lot of people, when they use the product, I think are pretty amazed that the time between first recording yourself and having a digital twin that can say what you want is really quick. So now that we can converse with Reed in real time, it opened up new opportunities for us to bring him into meetings in real time, to bring him to conferences, to bring him to events. So for the first few months of Reed AI, it was still impressive, but we were essentially building an answer based on the knowledge base and then creating a video based on that answer. Now with the interactive avatars, we actually can have real time conversations where the answer comes within a second or two and the video looks really impressive. My advice for somebody using HeyGen is similar to what my advice would be for a lot of creative projects, and that would be to just get started and just start experimenting and not overthink that first video. I think one thing that's key for us is to be transparent whenever we're using Reed AI. So we're never actually putting it up there as a replacement for Reed. We're trying to be very clear that this is a specific thing that we're experimenting with and that people are listening to an AI avatar version of Reed. And I think that's important because ultimately with all of the value I think these could provide. And I, the idea of being able to get advice from people that you trust and admire, I think is really exciting. But I also think there is some risk that people will start to be confused when they're talking to a real person and when they're talking to AI. One of the things that we try to do with HeyGen is find new use cases of digital twins. So for example, we've had Reed show up at a business school and evaluate business plans, but it's actually Reed AI giving feedback on those business plans. And we've had Reed AI give keynotes at conferences where I present at the conference alongside Reed AI, and then Reed AI both answers my questions and answers questions live from the audience. Reed is working on a graduation speech right now. We want to then translate that into different languages so we can use HeyGen to have that same speech translated into eight or nine languages so he's able to scale that message to a wider audience. Reed is very busy. Very often he gets requests to speak at events. And the first thing that he's doing is saying he's unavailable, but Reed AI can show up and give that presentation if they want. So Reed AI has actually appeared at over 20 conferences over the past year. And especially recently, we've been using HeyGen's interactive avatar so that at the end of this keynote presentation, we can throw Reed AI up on screen and actually take audience questions along the way. What kind of surprised me about the process of creating Reed AI is that for the interactive avatar, that's only filming him for about two minutes. And the entire interactive avatar is from that two minute shot. As far as the other videos that we're generating in advance, they were actually filming him for a few hours so that if we want to create a video where Reed is more excited or is more serious, or we want to convey a different emotion, we actually have a lot of different content to pull from but both of them are relatively straightforward. I think people feel like, how in the world did you do this? And they aren't really aware that these tools are actually really accessible and you can have your own avatar up and running in a few hours. If you like experimenting with new AI tools, I definitely think HeyGen is worth a shot. It's quick, it's fun, and you might find it's actually really valuable.